one of the cornerstones of highly successful people that they have found through studies is delayed gratification. The practice of putting off something instantaneous pleasure, something I want, I want it now, that ice cream, the birthday cake, the new car, the iPhone that just came out, the new flat screen TV, whatever it happens to be, it doesn't matter whether it's big or small. They have found if we can learn to delay gratification, to overcome that pull on our ego, the peer pressure, that pleasure button on the inside of us, if we can do that, we can see phenomenal success if we'll just learn to build that muscle. And it is a muscle. It is a skill set that you have to learn. You have to do and apply because your will has to be stronger than your feelings. Feelings are always going to choose the ice cream right now. And it's always going to deny the exercise. Always, every time. But your will has to be stronger. And it's something you have to work on consistently to be able to find that place of success or to build that delayed gratification. I call this joining the resistance so that you don't end up on the dark side with Darth Vader. We want to be successful. That's what we all say we want to be. So there's five domains that you have to practice your delayed gratification. And these are the same five that all of us have to practice in. These are the five that are going to hurt us if we don't. Number one, food. We all know this is a big one. I was born hungry and I've been hungry ever since and it's never ended. Food is a huge battle for me. That's why most of my life I've been 300 pounds. And according to every study I've read, 37% of Americans are battling obesity or some type of chronic disease. 37%. That's because of our food. And it's because we're not going to delay our gratification. We have drive throughs It's so convenient, so easy. I'm just going to get it. I'm going to get the dead burger at the Burger King and eat something that's going to kill me eventually. And I'm not all rationalized because I don't have enough time. So 10 years ago, I've had to stop doing that. And I had to learn delayed gratification by pre-planning my meals throughout the week to protect me from me. So food is number one. Number two, physical pleasure. This, this involves a lot of different things. This could be alcohol or drug sex. It could be social media, Facebook time, TV time, your iPhone, <laughs> huge addiction. It's these areas where it's instant gratification. It's something easy I want to do and fun I want to do instead of doing the things that I should be doing, the work that I should be doing, whatever it happens to be. We're choosing the low-hanging fruit. Number three, money. Wow, this is a huge one. Money. We're in debt as a society. Most Americans are 90 days from bankruptcy. And that's because of delayed gratification. Because it's too easy to put it on a credit card. I want it. And I want it now. It doesn't matter if I can afford it. I'm going to rob my future to pay for my present. That's what a credit card does. It just robs us. It steals years and money from us. And no matter how much money we make, we will usually end up building our debt, building our liabilities to overcome our income, no matter how much we get. And again, study after study has proven that. So money is another big one. Achievement. This is your work. We already know Gallup says that 70% of Americans don't like doing what they're doing. That means that 70% of Americans are sitting at a desk practicing camouflage productivity, which means you don't even know that they're productive. They're just acting busy. They're not really doing anything, but it's easier than actually doing the work or outworking the room or bringing the energy and making it rain in an office place or work or job, whatever you got because it's easier to have instant pleasure to get on a computer and play cards or whatever games that are out there that we can play or to read or get on Facebook again, but besides doing the work. So you have your five things here. The last one is your, your social life. And, and this can be a tough one too, especially for younger people where they're choosing going to the pool, the beach, or doing something with friends or even a bar or a party over stuff that you should be getting done. And I'm not saying doing those things is bad, I'm just saying that you're always choosing those things. That is bad. Practice delayed gratification. Join the resistance so that we don't end up on the dark side. And watch how your success will grow exponentially. My name is Ed Carcary, and I'd love to connect with you. You can find me at edcarcary.com. Find your passion. Find your life.